Good morning, everyone. We're standing in front of the 2020 inductees, Nine Inch Nails, T-Rex, um, John Landon, Notorious B.I.G., Depeche Mode, and more. But tis the season for the nominations for 2021. Yes, even during the pandemic, the world keeps on spinning and some things still... <laughs> I guess somewhat normal. Yeah, because yeah. you, you were just <laughs> saying, Mandy, you saw Nine Inch Nails, you're like, oh, that would have been so good to see them, you know, to see them live this year. But the world keeps on spinning, as we say, just like the, the record does. Sure does. And coming up here in the 8 o'clock hour, coming up, we're going to talk about the new nominations, right? Yeah, we are. I'm really excited for mm -hmm. that moment, which yeah. is so soon. Yeah, I mean, it's like, like five minutes, <laughs> yeah. like, okay, that we can tell everybody. So we both have looked at the list. Wow. Talk about going all over the map in terms of music and musical mm -hmm. influences from, I mean, from way back in the day to, you know, well, pretty recent, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think people are going to be excited about just the breadth of, of nominees. And as we take a look at uh, the 2020 inductees, it's, it, it's really amazing to, to talk about the impact that uh, music has had. But now, um, the impact that the nominees and the inductees have had over the course of the years, people start to take it really personal, don't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is one of the great things about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is people care so much about this music. Mm -hmm. And seeing their icons that have made so much difference to them personally, to see them inducted, I mean, that kind of completes the, the full circle of keeping their music alive forever. It really does. I got to actually see my favorite band of all time inducted, and it, yeah. it's one of the greatest moments of my life. <laughs> well, what do you like most about this time of year for you guys and for music in general? What I like about this time of year is the excitement of it, the promise of it. Uh, I feel like seeing that list of nominees gets everyone excited about rock and roll and gets everybody re-engaged with the bands that they really like on that list. You know, what I love about it, to piggyback on what you're saying, you get to learn about other groups you probably didn't know about or learn about historical figures and yeah. their role in the music as we know it today. For sure, for sure. Every year when the nominees get announced, I, you know, there's always a couple that I need to kind of learn more about and I love doing that. Yeah, it's totally awesome. So we're going to be able to announce that in the, um, well, what? Three minutes. Three minutes. So when we, <laughs> we come back, fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy morning right here at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Fox News will continue when we come back, so stay with us.